This is the Cal State University San Bernardino website that has Brian Haynes as the Vice President of Student Affairs. So we're going to be talking about Haynes a lot. He comes up a lot in our channel when we look at this diploma mill and this fraud because of his position at Cal State San Bernardino as the number two on campus. So Brian Haynes would also be responsible for conducting invest uh, non-academic grievances, which we know he failed to do. So let's take a look at Haynes for a minute, and he's moving off to the University of California, Riverside, which is really going to be a problem. It'd be one thing if he was in charge of the janitorial staff, which is really, really the type of job this guy should have. But unfortunately, UCR believes that he's an innovative educator, and somehow he's going to do something other than what he's done at Cal State San Bernardino. So we have Brian Haynes involved in a collaborative e effort with President Morales, uh, Milton Clark, the provost at that time, Andrew, Andrew Bodman, in a scheme to conceal a diploma mill through the College of Extended Learning with Korean students. Now, in the process of dealing with this, this particular fraud, Haynes decided, I mean, this is the intelligence of Brian Haynes and Thomas Morales, all right, because there's several ways they could have handled this. They certainly didn't have to do what they did. They could have just told me, look, we just became aware of this. You know, we didn't know this was happening. Of course, this all would have been a lie, right? But why not lie as opposed to get involved in criminal conduct? I mean, the thing is, is that you make your decisions, you assess the uh, situation, and they could have mediated this in a much different way. But what they did is they took a very dark route, a very subversive route of mishandling um, evidence, of fabricating evidence. Okay, we have Brian Haynes fabricating evidence of the Vice President for Student Affairs with Sandra Vasquez, who was a student conduct and ethical development officer. All right, so Vasquez was below Haynes, and Haynes and Vasquez are cooking up this Fabricating evidence. This is how and what they do is Haynes intervenes in a 1097 investigation on him. He's under investigation. Him, Morales, Vasquez, for failing to investigate these in, these formal grievances. So Haynes decides, this is how smart this guy is. So while he's under investigation, he has inappropriate conversations with the investigator who is subordinate to him, which is just ridiculous, Cesar Portillo. And Portillo tells him a story, and um, Haynes and Vasquez change that story into that I'm coming to the campus with some violence on my mind. I mean, this is just it's just fucking insane. I mean, this is how this is how stupid Brian Haynes is, and how really evil he is because it's just it just doesn't win. I mean, you've got this liability where the college is involved in clearly this diploma mill, and there's more. We're going to be talking about the Chinese scam that was going on that surfaced in 2016, another pay-for-credits thing. So you've got this huge liability of running this diploma mill. And Haynes and Morales, who are mediocre administrators at best, they never hire really qualified, intelligent people. They want people that are stupid. Sorry, that's just, I mean, what he did, and only an idiot would do it. So Cal State's got this liability. They've got this diploma mill going on, and they're going to increase the liability. Instead of mitigating it through some nonsense bullshit, which they could have done, they decide to increase the uh, liability tenfold or a hundredfold and get involved in fabricating evidence and tampering with witnesses in... Uh, developing witnesses that didn't actually exist. We have Sandra Vasquez and the Dean of the CEL, Tainta Carmanova, testifying in my suspension hearing of this horrible wrongdoing that they never witnessed. Not only did they never witness it, they did never produce the witnesses to affirm their testimony. Okay, this is how fucked up it is. And the thing is, Haynes issues the suspension, but refuses to show up at the suspension hearing. Of course, of course, this guy's a coward. I mean, he ends up hiding behind these women. He's hiding behind Vasquez, behind the Dean, Carmenova, behind Satterland, behind the hearing officer. He then stages this whole ridiculous sham and lets these women deal with it. Why? And so this is the leader. If you're a, a 
if you're a University of California Riverside student and you've got this guy on, on your campus and he's in charge of your well-being, you are in big trouble. I mean, this guy is a gatekeeper. He will protect the unit. We, we've just seen this, right? He'll go through outrageous conduct to protect the university um, and he'll just root you. You know, it's just unbelievable the fuckery that this guy does and you can see this guy if you if you talk to this guy he's just an arrogant he's just an arrogant mediocre guy okay who shouldn't have been any more than a principal of some middle school or in charge of the landscaping and janitorial crew at uc santa uh uc uh riverside so this guy's worth Haynes. you don't got the position because you're qualified you've got the position because you are really Spoiled goods. They've got you now. I mean, you're on the hook, brother. You're basically just an unconvicted criminal. So here's the University of California, Riverside. I mean, you know, they're just, I mean, can you imagine they're doing this search and they come up with this guy? It's just, and we've seen this before. We've seen Vasquez in March of um, 2015 move to UC Santa Barbara and like Vasquez, had Morales done his job, had Wask done their job, had the Chancellor's office not had this diabolical scheme of concealing it, this guy wouldn't be working for the state anymore. He'd be terminated. And he should be in jail. He should be wearing an orange jumpsuit. All right? This is what this guy needs to be. And they end up putting, this is very common in education in California, whether it's K-12, to it doesn't matter how bad you are. Uh, what evil things you've done. They're just going to push you out the door with a reference. And so Haynes is leaving. And um, so he's going to become the uh, <laughs> vice chancellor. Now, you may consider this a lateral move, but really it's not. I mean, he's got, this is a more prestigious, you know, university system than CSU. And uh, this is going to pump up his pension. And this is this is all about Haynes, okay? He, he offers nothing to UCR students except a horrible reputation and a path of destruction that had he been held accountable, there is no way in hell he'd be working at UCR. So, the, so, when, so when UCR gets sued, and they will because of Haynes' misconduct, and again, he won't have his fingerprints directly on it. He'll have the women. This is a guy that has other people do his work. He's actually known for this at Cal State San Bernardino. He doesn't do any work. He's, he's the manager. Okay, He's got this concept of a manager that's really skewed. So UCR has actually got growing, in, in growing enrollment, and they need a leader like Brian to help develop the next generation of students. Do you have any idea what this guy did to us at Cal State San Bernardino is doing to us? The clock is still ticking. You know, the statue of limitations is still active. This is a complete fraud and cover up. I mean, just because he's doing it with President Morales, this is only protection. You know, he's, he's with the big dogs. Um, so no, he's not gonna help these students. He's, he doesn't provide, this is not a nurturing guy. This is an asshole. This is a narrative. This is a narcissistic asshole. He doesn't. You can look at it. Look at this guy's. Look at the way he dresses and look at his face, man. His face and his eyes say it all. If you can't see that, then God help you. Um, so anyway, this guy's in charge of all these things that affect students. I mean, if you're a student and you're raped on campus, or you're assaulted by a teacher, you know, depend, I mean, you are really going to be in trouble. I mean, if you're accused of wrongdoing, you know, some kind of academic fraud, God forbid, or, you know, some other misconduct, you know, some kind of crime on campus that they perceive. I mean, this guy, your well-being is, is in this guy's hand. This guy has the mind of a criminal. All right. He's the guy that masterminded this whole fraud scheme at Cal State. Instead of taking the easy route, he's going to take the dark route. So he's in charge of counseling and psychological services. And we have examples of him at Cal State San Bernardino where a foreign, you can see this online, a foreign young student ended up with some kind of psychological issues and uh, they put her in jail. Yeah, Haynes and Vasquez put this poor young woman in, in jail, just traumatized her. This is what they do. These people are, these people are bad. 
Um, he's going to model student development strategies? Are you shitting me? I mean, this guy's skill set is negative. He's negative. He is a negative. He's excited. I'm very excited. No, he's not. I mean, he's escaping the claws of justice for this moment. But his time will come. He doesn't work collaboratively. I mean, yeah, he does. We have with Milton Clark, who the Chancellor's Office identified responsible for the formal grievances. So we have him colluding with Clark. We have him colluding with Vasquez. We have him collaboratively working with the subordinate investigator to up up and that investigation on him, which is what he does. Not only, and this continues to bury these formal uh, formal uh, grievance procedures that have never been investigated. I mean, this guy, yeah, he is going to collaborate. And any integral role, I mean, the thing is, is that UCR is in trouble. I mean, you've got this idiot here that is going to ruin people's lives. This is what he's done. Even if you look at all the master students, I mean, they graduated all these, the majority of the Koreans, probably 85% of the Koreans were given the degree. All right. The Americans did all the work for the Koreans. This is well documented. We have emails to professors demonstrating this. We have Korean students that didn't show up to classes, weren't writing papers because they knew that it would get done and we had to get that shit done. Right. And so the thing is, is that he concealed this. I mean, this was a horrible situation to be in, um, in that the Koreans offered very little substance. I mean, this learning process really is about shared experiences and shared knowledge. This is true kind of edulate education collaboration, and this didn't happen. Ains knew this didn't happen. This was just a diploma mill. Um, so he's going to collaborate with this woman to optimize the experience, the student experience. No, he's not going to. I mean, the thing is, this guy doesn't have a work ethic. He's not. He's not your boy. Okay, you need to throw Haynes back to the pack at Cal State San Bernardino and let's get our situation resolved. He's got unfinished business here.